Same as with the Photoshop files, you can open Illustrator files in Adobe XD, but just make sure that uh, you understand that there are some limitations here as well. Same story as with the Photoshop, Illustrator has been on the market for the longest time and in that time some major updates have happened to Illustrator. So Illustrator just has that much more to do and to offer and it has so many tools uh, to offer to creators. Therefore, XD just cannot keep up with some major effects like, for example, some advanced shadows, some advanced background blurs, maybe some um, line control won't be that good uh, in XD as it is in Illustrator, just because Adobe Illustrator is meant as an illustration tool from the day one, and Adobe XD is meant for the UI and UX tool from the day one. Otherwise, everything should work as normal and you can edit text, you can edit images. Right here I have my Bones iOS wireframe kit product and if I double click right here you can see that it opens up everything. You can change color so you can change color right here for example. You can double click on the text to change it so for example I can type in right here maybe ancient Greece like so and when I jump out you can see you can change the folder so for example maybe I can choose Roboto you can see that it changes that uh, font and you can change everything you see right here so for example I might want to change the color of this image maybe I can change it to something like this red for example and something like that you can create different components uh, using the components you see right here so you can really play around with this illustrator file it can really be extremely useful to you and you can use it on uh, the daily basis in your projects but just make sure to understand that if the person you are using this file from has applied some advanced filters and some advanced features that xd does not support then just make sure to either work around those issues and you create uh, that same look inside of Adobe XD or you just simply use the most simplified version of that effect to achieve the same thing inside of Adobe XD.